That would be good. That is uh, Navi from Ocarina of Time all grown up. Hell yeah, 60 gold? That's serious, man. Can you sing Pearl Jam's Jeremy uh, as Michael Caine? I could try. That'd be like... Clearly, I remember. Picking on the boy. Seemed a harmless little shit. But we unleashed the lion. Gnashed his teeth and bit the recessed lady's breast. Master Wayne. Something like that. It's no 20,000. You just got 20,000? Yo, if you got $20,000 in your bank account, you just find 60 bucks laying on the ground, you're not going to be like, Psh, not worth my time. Come on now. I don't know what that did, but in general, seems like a sensible idea. To hit levers whenever possible. Oh, there's the beam of light. We just Raiders of the Lost Ark did. Okay. So far, so good. The fact that you have yet to fix the lockpicking bug drives me nuts. You know what? I choose to live... I thought they were mad at each other. I choose to live my life like there's no tomorrow. I choose to live my life uh, in a suboptimal fashion on purpose because I think it builds character, honestly. I'm a firm believer that, you know, life is never going to be perfect. It's only through becoming acclimated to imperfections that we can achieve true happiness. Or at least contentedness. Mostly it's just an attitude that uh, enables my laziness from time to time, but... What?! The backstab?! Wow, that hurts. Quinny732, thank you for the subscription. NL, you are so full of shit sometimes. That's bullshit, man. If you if you aspire to live a perfect life, why are you watching this stream right now? You could be busy doing push-ups. You know? You could be busy learning theoretical physics. We've only got a set amount of time on this planet Earth. Everyone embraces this to some extent. It's just a matter of how much you would recognize it. Sir Panzer for six months in a row. Thank you very much. Who says I'm not doing push-ups while watching the stream? Well, you, okay, well, you could be watching the stream, or you, you could be watching another piece of transformative media while doing push-ups. Like, why are, you watching, uh, why are you watching me do this when you could be, you know, using Rosetta Stone to learn how to speak Tagalog or something? Tagalog. I'm learning data structures right now. Yo, that's actually dope. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Being aware of your laziness does not, in fact, make it any better. I think it does, actually. I disagree with you. And I mean that sincerely. Like, I'm not, like, dis displeased or anything like that. But I, I do disagree with you. Because I think, you know... There is a, there's a productiveness to laziness. You know, you, you, you want to, like, build muscle? You can't just be working out all the time. The body needs rest in order to, like, effectively engage in hypertrophy. Hypertrophy? You know what I mean. The building of muscle. You need rest. The human body needs rest from time to time. And I think psychologically, the human body needs some time to relax as well. So I think as long as your, your laziness allows you to be uh, more productive in the future, that's productive laziness. Ruined book? No, thank you, sir. What's going on here? I was told there would be no math.
who here knows SQL? I know the very basics of SQL to the extent that I could write a query that works in link for C sharp. And I'm very passionate about it. Why don't you join me? Ha <laughs> ha And we'll have a world where... No, this just doesn't make any sense. Alright, what's going on? I'm, I'm punching ghosts in the face. I'm having a great time with that. A little bit confused about where we're going, though. You should write a philosophy book, NL. I wouldn't write a philosophy book or any book because I wouldn't read it. Like, if I went to a bookstore and I was like, this fucking, you know, video game YouTuber wrote a book about philosophy, I'm, like, I'm not going to read that. So I would, you know, I would never write that. If I'm being honest, like, I'm probably one of the most humble people I know. Like, to a fault. I'm too humble to write a book, I think. It's, it's a problem. Can you and Dan Giesling write a philosophical version of Outliers? Malcolm Gladwell is smarter than both of us combined. Um, but sure, yeah. I don't think Dan gets enough credit for being a genius, you know? People think he's, like, just a meme lord. He's, he's a genuine smart man as well. I mean, he's an idiot, but we all are. Okay, don't run through the lightning. That's ridiculous. Was that meant to be ironic? Yes, it was. By the way, Hermaeus Mora is the Prince of Fate. Um, did we do it? We got some, like, Super Mario Sunshine going on here. Expert. This is probably not going to be possible. Oh, are you kidding me? We were so close. Okay, you know what? Disregard. Although, wait, 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 We've done it. Dwarven bow. A really big bow. <laughs> wow, he used potions. If target dies within three seconds, fill a soul gem. Well, you know, leave it better than you found it here. So we'll over here, go to our weapons. Look at value. Like, we don't really care about Aegis Bane. What's our lowest value bullshit? Orcish mace. Goodbye. Wait 15? See you in a heck, mister. The necromancer has to be somewhere in here. Holy shit, I never thought he would use a potion. But yeah, look for my book. I really think that uh, print media is in a position where it's going to take off. So I was thinking about diversifying into that. Um... Look for my book on store shelves, where books are still sold. Uh, 2035. First draft is due uh, before my 40s. Excuse me, Corrupted Shade. I can't feel my shade when I'm with you. And I dislike it. Yo, but I dislike it, though. Requires key. Okay, so we gotta get a key. Hopefully it's in this desecrated corpse. It's not. And I'll start a newspaper. I was thinking of starting like a really niche magazine. Really feel like the magazine business is uh, is primed to explode this year. I hear you guys in there. I just don't know how to get up there yet. Just give it a minute. And I would probably be better off making audiobooks. Yeah, Kate and I were talking about that the other day. Like, she's been a little bit on this audible kick. And I'm like, man, I mean, I'm one to talk, but that seems like a sweet job. Not like it's, I mean, I understand it's not that easy to just, like, do voice work. It's not like you're just uh, chilling out all day. But at the same time, 
not only do you get to read these awesome books, but you get paid for it as well. Pro Glazer, thank you as well. I don't want to. I don't want to cut into Bear's market share though. Um. Okay. Well, I guess we just activate this thing first, and then that's gonna hit that thing. Then we got to get over there somehow. Did that open this door? Well, why do you say requires key then? That's not quite the same. It's not what I think of when I think of a key. Easiest game of my life. Wah! Oh. Exomech. Thank you as well. That took you way too long to use common sets. Yo! It's a little ridiculous to describe, you know, I'm never going to sell this. Let's just be real. To yo, dude, common sense is like I want to eat an apple, I got to put it in my mouth. Common sense is not um pick up a freaking glowing ball of light and it'll unlock the door behind you that says requires key. Like I'll I'll acquiesce that I have some uh, lack of common sense in some areas. I think it's part of my charm to be honest with you, but come on, common sense all common sense is actually learned, man. And I've never actually been in a dungeon like this in real life, so cut me some flippin' slack, Jack. Honestly, that was a great shot. Rap God? Well, that's just patronizing now. Hey! Spyro, not you too. Not you too, Spyro. You're my last bastion of, of protection here. I like it a lot more when they actually get like ricocheted off the building instead of just like sort of getting staggered for like two seconds. Metal Neo Hunter. Thank you for the resub as well. And now, what's your opinion on Independence Day and will you see the new one? Um, I, if you've watched the NLSS, We've talked about Independence Day before, before I even knew that there was going to be a sequel. Um, I am of the opinion that Independence Day is not very good, but it's kind of like one of those movies that, even though it's sort of bad, people gained a fondness for because it was kind of big and stupid and Will Smith was really likable and blah blah blah, Jeff Goldblum's in it. Um, so I was like not excited for the sequel at all, and I heard the sequel's pretty bad. I mean, that sucks. It says a 266 value. Holy shit. Oh my god! Um, it's like not excited for the sequel at all, but still, like, uh, I want. My, I hate when sci fi is bad. Because there's only like. Maybe like 12 sci fi movies that come out annually. And when one of them sucks, I feel like I've been robbed. The sequel felt like it was three hours long. That's not a glowing endorsement. Remember one of those doors you couldn't open? It's open now. Okay. There's a new Alien movie coming out next year. I mean, I'm for it if it's good. Which is like the most obvious sentence of all time, I suppose. But, like, I... I saw a Prometheus open weekend, opening weekend. And I'm not trying to say that it's a... Um, that I'm being like a, a hipster or something about it. But when I was, I was so excited for Prometheus. And as I was watching it, and Kate will attest to this, is before the internet circle jury started, I was like, what is this? I thought it was going to be like cerebral sci-fi. And actually it's like a fucking stupid, you know, slasher movie. So now I understand, by the way, when people are like, oh, the backlash for, for, for Prometheus is too much. As with anything on the internet, there's like, you know, so much uh, circle jerking about it that it's, a little bit more interesting to kind of take the uh, alternate approach. I understand that, but I like genuinely, when watching Prometheus for the first time, was like, this is kind of shitty. So, you know, it's got great visual effects, I can't deny, but as a film, I did not like it. But, um, run for your life! Uh, we're probably about to die. Yep! <laughs> um, 
But if they can make it interesting, that'd be awesome. But like, I really wanted more of like a cerebral horror film than what ended up being like large. Excuse me, he didn't get stag. Oh my god. What ended up being more of like a a slasher flick. Like a spe the thing that gets me the most. I'm just gonna put some more healing potions on uh, favorites here. Are um, the scientists being idiots? And it's been talked about to death, but it underlies, like it undermines the rest of the entire film that the scientists are morons. Because you go, oh, these are like smart people. They're gonna get killed or at least freaked out in smart ways. But no, they did not. Instead, they're just idiots, and that's the annoying part. Um, it's okay. I don't... Carrying capacity increases by 20? But Alien is a slasher fil flick, and Aliens is not cerebral. I thought Prometheus was going to be more like Alien than Aliens. And I like Aliens, but um, Prometheus is much worse than Aliens to begin with. Maybe let's just take Drought of Resist Magic. Hey, Mr. Quaint, happy birthday and thank you very much for the resubscription. How is he not... I, 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 gotta, I gotta trick him. I gotta hit him before he hits me. Alien was a slasher film, though. Yeah, I mean, I have nothing against slasher films. It, I have something against, like, the stupidity of Prometheus as a slasher film. Like, if it's just dumb people getting murdered, that's fine. Set it in a summer camp or, like, a high school, you know, prom after party or something like that. I never once for a moment bought that the people in Prometheus were smart, which was kind of like a fundamental part of the film because of the fact that they were like, oh, that sucks. Because of the fact that they were like, you know... Humanity's scientific vanguard, you know, pioneers in intergalactic exploration. To TBH Werewolf. Alright, we can do Werewolf. So that's Beast Form. And then Shout. Michael Fassbender is great in Prometheus. I agree. Michael Fassbender is one of my favorite uh, actors, and he is awesome in Prometheus. Excuse me! I'm, I, okay, that time, I actually got trapped. I was very disappointed about that. I was trying to jump out of that area there, but it didn't work. Okay. Attack the skeletons first. I agree, that seems very sensible. Stop body blocking me, you sons of bitches! Okay, kite him. Kite him. Non-stop rights. Why would I ever throw a left? That's my weak hand. We can't heal in beast form. We also cannot escape this area. Alright, now we do a jump. Yes! Oh my god! Use your scream to make them run away. You can make them you can shout again and howl and scare everybody. I did not know this. You guys are much more useful in the werewolf uh, guild than teaching me things. Uh, by the way, Malkorin is too powerful for Scent of Blood, in case you were, like, curious about that. Look at this Reinhardt sons of bitch. Get out- Oh my god! I don't know if I like this. Daymu. Thank you for the resubscription as well. I kind of think we were doing better uh, just as a cat.
drink every potion ever made. Okay, be cool, be cool, be cool. Here we come, my caroling. I went to Malkorin. I'm invisible. Yeah, I'm no longer visible, apparently. Okay, now run. Try holding with both hands. Don't start with me, mister. Sega! Run, run, this is a bad idea. Standing still was a bad idea. Don't jump into the lightning bolt. I'm just wait. All you gotta do is kite him. And then you're gonna use your Fuzero Daz. Oh my god! Push the tilde key, click on him, and then type kill. That sounds like a fun way to play a video game. Anytime you ever face a challenge in your life, just open the debug menu and type kill on him. Alright, I'll tell you what. What if we mark his bitch ass for death? He is now marked for death, presumably. You will never get this. The kiting is out of control. You're so lucky, you don't even know it yet. Mark him for Wahlberg? If I could, I would, man. Marked for death is an armor debuff. Seems like it wouldn't be that effective against this guy then. I see what you're saying. Man, Fuzero Da takes way too long to recharge for this to be a sensible option. Sega! No, he's freezing me! Okay, we need to get some like cold resist for sure. I can't believe we came so close on our first attempt. And then every attempt since this has actually been hell. Fire breath and summon assassin. Hold up. I mean, we can equip weapons. I mean, I don't disagree with you on that. I didn't mean to equip that, but um, it's a little bit less fun for sure. But sure, what's our most high damage weapon here? We got, well, one handed weapon. Great swords are two hands, right? Yes, okay. I mean, we could do steel sword of dismay, steel war axe. Why do I not have. Do, it, do I not have them equipped? I, I get it. Maybe you should just get him to warm up to you. You're very clever. Blade of Woe. Good call. We should use some fire stuff. I see what you're saying. This man is made of ice. I'm a little bit confused about where my weapons appear to be. They appear to be invisible. Oh, it's because we're using the invisible potion because I equipped it by accident. Alright, there we go. Alright. Okay. I tricked myself with the potion of invisibility there. Wow! Top 10 funny cocks. I mean, it's a great name. Can't deny it. Um, get Blade of Woe going here. Steel Sword of Dismay. What do we have in our scrolls department? Sets undead up to level 30 on fire and makes them flee for 30 seconds. Okay. Um, use? That seems pretty dope. Damn 
Dang it, Malcor, he's so strong!